Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that affects millions of people around the world, waterborne diseases. Clean water is essential for life, but not everyone has access to it. So, let's learn more about what waterborne diseases are, how they spread, and what we can do to prevent them. Let's get started. What is waterborne disease? A waterborne disease is an illness caused by drinking or coming into contact with water that is contaminated with harmful microorganisms or toxins. These diseases can be caused by bacteria, viruses, parasites, or chemical pollutants present in the water, leading to symptoms such as diarrhea, vomiting, and fever. What are the sources of water contamination? Human and animal waste. Improper disposal of sewage and animal waste can seep into water supplies, introducing harmful pathogens. Industrial waste. Factories and industrial plants may discharge pollutants and chemicals into water bodies, contaminating them. Agricultural runoff. Pesticides, fertilizers, and other chemicals used in farming can wash into rivers, lakes, and groundwater. Natural disasters. Events like floods can overwhelm sanitation systems and introduce contaminants into water sources. Improper waste disposal. Dumping of garbage and hazardous materials in or near water bodies can pollute them. Urban runoff. Rainwater can carry oils, heavy metals, and other pollutants from roads and urban areas into water systems. Which diseases are caused by consuming contaminated water and what are the symptoms? Cholera. Caused by the bacterium Vibrio cholerae, leading to severe diarrhea and dehydration. Dysentery. Caused by bacteria like Shigella or amoebas, resulting in bloody diarrhea and abdominal pain. Typhoid fever. Caused by the bacterium Salmonella typhi, leading to high fever, weakness, and abdominal pain. Hepatitis A. A viral infection causing liver inflammation, jaundice, and fatigue. Giardiasis. Caused by the parasite Giardia lamblia, resulting in diarrhea, cramps, and nausea. Cryptosporidiosis. Caused by the parasite Cryptosporidium, leading to diarrhea and stomach cramps. E. Coli infection. Certain strains of Escherichia coli bacteria can cause severe gastrointestinal distress. Polio. A viral disease that can lead to paralysis, though it is now rare due to widespread vaccination efforts. How to diagnose waterborne disease. Medical history and physical examination. A doctor will take a detailed medical history, asking about symptoms, recent travel, and potential exposure to contaminated water. 2. Stool tests. Analyzing a stool sample can detect bacteria, viruses, parasites, or other pathogens causing the symptoms. Tests may include culture, PCR or antigen tests. Blood tests. Blood samples can be tested for specific antibodies or antigens to identify infections like typhoid fever, hepatitis A, or other systemic infections. Urine tests. Urine samples can help detect certain bacterial or parasitic infections. Imaging tests. In some cases, imaging tests like ultrasound or CT scans might be used to check for complications, such as liver or intestinal involvement. Rapid diagnostic tests. Some diseases, like cholera or certain parasitic infections, have rapid tests that provide quick results. Endoscopy or colonoscopy. In severe or unclear cases, these procedures may be used to visually inspect the gastrointestinal tract and take tissue samples for analysis. What is treatment for waterborne disease? Rehydration. Using oral rehydration solutions, ORS, or intravenous fluids to replace lost fluids and electrolytes. Antibiotics. Prescribed for bacterial infections such as cholera, dysentery, and typhoid fever. Antiparasitic medications. Used for infections caused by parasites, like giardiasis and cryptosporidiosis. Antiviral medications. Sometimes used for viral infections, though supportive care is often the main approach. Supportive care. Includes pain relievers, anti-nausea medications, and fever reducers to manage symptoms. Rest and monitoring. Ensuring adequate rest and regular follow-up with healthcare providers to track recovery and manage any complications. How to prevent waterborne disease. Ensure clean water. Drink and use water that has been boiled, filtered, or treated with chlorine or iodine. Good sanitation. Use proper sewage systems and avoid open defecation to prevent contamination of water sources. Hand hygiene. Wash hands thoroughly with soap and clean water, especially before eating and after using the bathroom. Safe food practices. Wash fruits and vegetables with clean water, cook food thoroughly, and avoid raw or undercooked foods. Vaccination. Get vaccinated against diseases like hepatitis A and typhoid fever, especially when traveling to high-risk areas. Community education. 
raise awareness about safe water practices and hygiene in communities. Conclusion. Waterborne diseases are a significant public health issue, especially in developing countries. Access to clean water and improved sanitation can drastically reduce the incidence of these diseases and save lives. Remember, clean water is a basic human right, and we all have a role to play in ensuring everyone has access to it. Share this video to spread awareness. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more informative content. Stay safe, and stay healthy.